Okay, so hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Oscar Outdoors. Today I want to show you my way of repairing holes in tarps. Stick with me. Okay, yeah, so hi everyone. Um, this is what I brought you in for today. Just going to be a quick video. You see that I've got a, a small hole in my tarp there. This is one of many that I had in this tarp. Um, I decided to get a little bit too close to it fire one night with my hand. Um, and obviously ended up with all this as a result. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I repair my tarps. And hopefully it might help one or two of you in the near future. So I'll just get ready to set up and I'll bring you back. Okay, so first step, um, as you can see, the hole is here. Yep, yeah, uh, is to go and get yourself some tenacious tape, some gear aid tenacious tape. Obviously, you don't need this amount. So, size of the hole, probably about a five pence piece strip is what all I'm going to need. So, I'm just going to cut that down to size now. I'm going to put that to one side for later. Okay, and you'll notice on the tenacious tape it comes away in two parts. So what I tend to do is I tend to snip just there on the fold itself. Put the larger strip there. Now you can locate your hole again and see if that's going to be long enough. You want it to come. You want it to be big enough to come either side of the hole. Uh, you can see the holes here uh, and then the tape. Just going over the top. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to peel the back and then seal this. This is the underside. Uh, so this is what will be above you whilst you're in your tap. Uh, yeah, the underside. I'm just going to peel this and I'll bring you back. Okay, as you can see, it's like a, a backed tape. So remove this side. Okay, I've not shown you a step um, accidentally, but I've, I've cleaned this area with like hand sanitizer. I know it's in short supply at the moment, but I've cleaned it so it's uh, nice and clean. And stretch it out as best you can. Yeah, that's showing up on there. And place your tape down. Okay, and stretch out as much as you can whilst you're smoothing out. Trying to get out any air bubbles. So that's it on this side so I don't know if you can pick it out on camera but you've just seen me lay it down yeah you can can't you just a, a little patch there just ensuring that it's completely en encompassed the hole um, and then I'm going to move on to the next step okay so welcome back I've uh, now turned the tarp over and I've left this section as you can see it's uh, quite dirty you can see the little specks of dust on there so just some hand sanitizer, one squirt just to the side of where the hole is. Again, this is just my preference. And then get your cleaning wipe and then just smooth over where you are. Just giving the area a good clean. A couple of inches either side of where you're going to be. There you go, and it's evaporated pretty well. Okay, so we've now got a nice clean area to work with. So we move on to the next step. And I can find it. Oh, I'm making a mess of my shed. Okay, so the next step is. Oh, that's it monet seam grip okay just enough to cover that I'll bring you back in a minute okay so yeah I found the, uh, the little cut off point that I had before uh, from the tenacious tape which is what I'm going to need for the next step so I'm just going to do a 
extra drop just enough to cover the hole it can be uh, quite pungent this solvent so make sure you're in a well ventilated area when doing this um, I'm in my shed but I've got my uh, door open which is probably why you can hear traffic if you can hear it going past get the lid back on here nice and safe Okay, so while that's there, take a bit of the backing that you uh, got on the tenacious tape before just to help you spread this so you're not actually using your fingers. Okay, just go a couple of millimetres either side of where you are. That's perfect, in my eyes anyway. Okay, now the next step is cutting off another square of your tenacious tape okay, I'll just peel this back in, I'm going to stop you here because uh, it's quite fiddly this bit okay, it wasn't as uh, fiddly as I thought so let's just refocus that yep. ok and then we're going to get to doing this so yeah with tenacious tape then the seam grip and then another square of tenacious tape over the top again just making sure that you've covered the entirety of the hole okay and then that will putting the tape back on I've found spreads the seam grip quite evenly so I'm going to leave that to dry for an hour or two just so that it's not tacky um, and then I'm going to put a patch over the top and show you the finished article. I'll bring you back shortly. Okay, so I'll bring you back now. It's had probably about 40 minutes. Been a bit impatient. Uh, so now the next step is get your snug pack repair kit. Inside there, there is a square of green fabric. Okay, so this will be the underside. So the bit that will be above you whilst you're in a hammock and this is the outside yeah, as you can see i've well used this little squares here and there um, it's a method that i've picked up um really by watching a lot of videos on youtube myself um, and then finding my own method so here you want a square um just a little bit bigger than the tenacious tape that you've got there uh, so this is like three by three squares on the snug pack square of material. I'll show you what I mean if I can in a second. Okay. If you can see like a, a square pattern on there. So three by three. Um, and then perfect, just slightly bigger than the tenacious shape, which is exactly what I was after. Uh, now I'm going to do a secondary sort of blob of seam grip just over the top of the tenacious tape this will just add to the waterproofness again so, but I'm going to go to the corners just tiny corners that's it I'm trying to get rid of the excess on the square that you're using that's it okay and lid back on so it served me really well um, these few products so again trying to make sure you can see one side is quite reflective and shiny and the other side is quite dull but so the dull side is the outer okay now if you look on this is a snug pack all weather shelter if you look on there again it's it's got the square sort of patterns in the material I like to try and line them up But it's not going to work with the way that I've done the tape, so I'm just going to have to put this straight over the top. Okay. Pressing down in the corners. Okay, and then just a, a big press. At the minute, you should be able to move this square sort of into position if you've uh, got it in the wrong place. You should see it should just slide. Can you see? It's just rotating round, but that's also spreading the seam grip for you. 
Okay, and then just working the corners, holding, holding it in place, and working outwards. It just gives you a better seal on your fabric. It looks a bit messy at this point, I'll admit. But when it's finished, it does look pretty impressive, apart from the fact that I've not prepared the squares in the way that I should have done. Okay, let's refocus that for you. Yeah. So yeah, there we go. We've got a patch of material now. Uh, some seam grip, a layer of tenacious tape, um, then some seam grip again. Now on the other side, uh, we've got a layer of tenacious tape. So it's got quite a lot, a level of protection there. So yeah, I'm going to let this cure, um, and I'll be more patient this time, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so just quick show you what we're doing at the minute not being as patient as I should have been again but yeah you can see we've got quite a good seal all the way around there we go there we are you can see the squares now that I was referring to before okay so it's still not dry but again I've been impatient so I'm gonna flip it over and show you what it looks like from the inside Okay, so I just brought you back for a view on the inside. So this is the inside. See the layer of tenacious tape. And um, we, we've sealed really well there. Um, I trust that, I don't know about yourselves. Okay, Let's see if I can do it with the light. Get the lamp on for you. Okay, so yeah, that's the patch there with the light. Not the neatest job uh, that I've managed, but you get the idea. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, yeah, so this has been uh, my tips on how to repair holes in tarps. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments uh, if you do anything any differently. Um, again, this is what I've picked up from different methods, uh, watching plenty of other YouTube videos. I've seen people using heat guns and not as much protection as that, but you know, this tarp is uh, now going to be my daughter's because I've replaced my own. Uh, so this is going to be my daughter's, so I want to make sure that she's protected from the elements. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, uh, how you do things, if I've done anything wrong, uh, besides lining the squares up, I know that. <laughs> but yeah, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.